Oh dear. Well, I was keeping an eye on things. I've just Googled the Hunts Post. We have now have Chief Constable Nick Dean in charge of Cambridgeshire Police Force. Yes, he was stupid enough to take the job. Um, hasn't answered any of the tweets I sent him, of course, or the letter, which means he's corrupt. So this is going to be interesting. But apparently he's going to spend the first few weeks speaking to the police about the pressures they face. Oh, we can see where this is going, can't we? <laughs> well, here's a list for you, Chief Constable. How about your desk sergeants don't uh, detain people in the cells unlawfully for an entire weekend for questioning the validity of an arrest? How about your officers learn to identify themselves properly? How about your officers learn to identify the person they're talking to properly? How about your officers don't just storm into someone's house and arrest them unlawfully by saying, you're got, mate, um, or words to that effect? Uh, how about your inspectors don't say, you should have known you were being arrested because you got to the back of a marked police vehicle with uniformed officers present? How about independent officers and police police conduct doesn't change its story four times on voluntary arrest, later admitting that you're quite right, well, quite rightly entitled to refuse a volu uh, voluntary arrest, voluntary interview, later admitting you're quite li rightly entitled to refuse a voluntary interview, and in fact, if the police then try and arrest you for the same offence they turned up for, they are then breaking their own fucking rules. Let's start working on those little things, shall we? What else was there? Um, I've forgotten now. The list is so fucking long. Uh, oh, how about not backing up bed bailiffs who are breaking the law because they're working for a private company, which is a private contract, therefore third party, so... The person they're speaking to owes them no money at all. Uh, or bail is threatening you with arrest when they have no powers of arrest. There's an interesting one. Um, it, it, even if they can arrest you in your hovercraft, in your ship, in the tent, because uh, they have special vehicles which are transit vans. Um, hi, Chris Green. <laughs> I know you're watching. Uh, or, oh, Richard Gilbert, who sticks his foot in your door, which is not allowed by bailiff regulations, but you back all that up as well, because you're all bent pieces of Nazi shit. Uh, let's see. Council tax is unlawful. Let's go with that one. Yeah, that's good. When you write a letter to Chief Constable Alec Wood, who sadly doesn't have a job anymore because of me, and you list about 17 criminal offences the council's committed, and then he decides to send his thug police round, his thug Nazi police round, to arrest you for non-payment of council tax. Police, mark you, that was before the bailiffs even came in, if you go back in the channel. He sent fucking five coppers straight round. Right, let's have this fucker. He's not paying his council tax, and Chief Constable Alec Wood sucks fucking Joanne Lancaster's fucking cock. So, we'll give him a fucking kicking. Oh, he's not in. Oh, that's because it was quarter to eight on a Monday morning, because you're all fucking stupid. So, yeah, he's here. Ignored everything I've fucking said. Well, they all do, don't they? Don't pay any attention to evidence. No, let's just... Fa we'll ignore all that fucking evidence he said. No, I'm not allowed to contact the court. No, Judge Enright said so. Not allowed to contact the court. Not allowed to speak to court employees. Not allowed to complain to the court. So fuck you if you think you're ever fucking arresting me again. Ignore... No, they don't just ignore the evidence. They manufacture fucking evidence. They take a completely fucking inaudible phone call and go, well, he's obviously guilty of fucking something. I mean, we can't work out what, you know, because, um... Oh, well, we can't hear a thing. But, you know, we'll just say he's guilty. In fact, no, I'll go back one, actually. First, I'll get a letter from the CPS saying the court case isn't on, and then you'll fucking go ahead with it anyway. Because you're all a bunch of bent, vile, Nazi pieces of shit wankers. But I tell you what. 
Chief Constable Dean, you speak to your staff about the pressures of the job, and then they can all have to go and see their mummy and have a good cry about how they all break the law all the time, and then they wonder why people fucking try to have them up on it. Yeah, fucking piece of dictatorship, Nazi wanker piece of shit. Saturday, said he took over. Which is interesting, because I saw a police van in the vicinity of my house on Sunday, I think it was. So presumably you're trying to have me unlawfully fucking arrested already, I don't know. I don't really care. I won't answer the door to your thug fucking pieces of Nazi shit. I won't answer the fucking phone. If you try and break the door in, then I'll fucking open it and kick the fucking heads in. Because you're all a bunch of lying pieces of Nazi fucking shit. Quite frankly. You fucking scum. Fuck off. I don't know why you took the job, mate. Because it's going to be the end of your fucking career. <laughs>